Hello, welcome back to Bandit Sushi Live Loading. Today I will be trying a new note for animation nodes that's dealing with a real-time audio. So thanks to Omar and Jack's look, so we have animation nodes version 2.1.4. Um, you can download it from here. So this release, you need uh, depending on what system, Linux, macOS, or Windows, you just download the zip and then reinstall the add-on and that should be working fine. And if you do everything correctly, you can see animation nodes over here. And by the way, this is Blender 2.8 beta. Okay, so that's the latest version. And here we should have sound nodes. The difference uh, with this sound input nodes is that this one is actually real time. So you don't need to bake the sound and it's gonna work um, on the fly, sort of. So, so I have um, already prepared uh, this bird sound. And yeah. basically, uh, it sounds like that. I downloaded it from the internet and I just gonna use that. So this is, the format is M4A. It seems to work fine. Uh, you can also use MP3. So this is AN bird sound. First look at the real-time sound node. And we, ha we have also sound from sequence and sound from spectrum. I think sound from intensity. This is actually the same node. This one's slightly different. You can have multiple sequence and so it's, it can grab the, that sound. Let's try with single for now. And in order for this to work and you can see the result, let's use a viewer node and plug in the spectrum. So if you scrub the frame, you can see it's, a, it's it is reading the, the sound data on the fly. You can plug in a frame into this guy, into this nodes, and it should work. So if I play back, so you can see there is a value that's changing here. So that's a good sign. And all you need to do to test this is to use something like object transform output. And you can use maybe, uh, maybe this cube, just grab the cube. And with the scale, you plug in the, the, this data into the scale. So now if you play back. So it's running almost in real time. It's, a, it's actually it's pretty fast. Yeah, and, and if you, you notice that the sound goes from zero to the maximum value. If you want to have some kind of base value, you can just add, just add a, 0.5 maybe for the cube. So this is gonna be the, the smallest value. So that's looks looking pretty good. Um, let's see what else we can do with this. Uh, so that's the basic idea. You can play around with the amplitude, low and high um, sampling of the data of the sound attack release, I don't, don't need to go too far on that. There's this uh, single full exponential, maybe maybe we can try exponential. You can see with this one, we kind of have like a spectrum of data. So multiple data, we have 20 by default. There is a K, maybe some kind of coefficient. But so in this case, if we are using, let's delete the cube and use a, Suzanne, let's use Suzanne um, instancing. So we're gonna instance Suzanne, grab it. And how many instance, it's depending on the count. So let's plug this into that guy. So we know that we, we have 20 Suzanne now. We just need to put it on the, some kind of grid or something, save it. Well, save as if we are using like a metric distribute. So this K 
can give us some kind of grid. You can use grid or other circle, even circle spiral. But let's start with linear. Plug in the vector into the location. And we have 20, right? And just do that. And the scale, everything should actually work. So we have some kind of real-time uh, audio visualizations inside Blender. There are plenty of things you can do with this trick. Yeah, it uh, seems like super basic, but it's actually really, really powerful. If you, I think if you drag around the audio from the video sequencer, so this is the audio, of course. If I select it and look at it, look at the, the, the waveform, uh, the waveform, we can kind of drag it and see. It's it's real time, like I said. You can play around and move the sound somewhere else, and then you can see the result immediately. So this is really really powerful. One example how Blender 2.8 handles real-time data. Um, I'm kind of looking forward um, of a way we can transfer like OSE, OSC uh, or, uh, or Open Sound uh, controller, how it's Blender 2.8 can handle such data. This is actually quite tasking. Maybe your computer processing it's a bit high, but uh, so far it seems pretty stable. Um, yeah, so let's actually try. If I use like uh, integer value, integer input input here, maybe forty. Plug it here, plug it there. So now we have forty, Suzanne. So we have. 40 different spectrum of data. We don't actually need to use linear. You can use like the spiral. Spiral also kind of interesting. We need to move this original. This is the this is the master thing. Oh, actually no. So we have control over our spiral. the angle of our spiral and the number of oxygen so yeah it's still working we can use also grid maybe 10 by 10 oh actually 10 by 10 is quite a lot 8 by 8, 64, so we need a 64, and so, I mean, at the moment it's not like the most beautiful visualization, but you can kind of have the idea how we can play around with this, alright, so maybe next time I will create something that's a little bit more interesting, but yeah, that's basically um, yeah, so this is animation nodes add-on for Blender 2.8, version 2.1.4. Um, again, thanks to Omar and Jack Luke to make this happen. This one is really powerful. Uh, thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.